When we combine the spiritual elements of the church service with the artistic elements of the church service, the effect is one of a heightened worship experience. And the organ is a most important part of the artistic elements of the service. My name is Andrew Parr and I'm the organist, uh, pianist at First United Methodist Church in Nacogdoches and professor of piano at Stephen F. Austin State University. I've been here at First United Methodist on and off for about 30 years and full-time organist. I don't even remember exactly when I became full-time organist. I practice between Wednesday and Sunday and then Sunday I just come and play. This organ uh, has two keyboards and organs have anywhere from two to say five or seven keyboards depending on how huge the organ is. Uh, a church of this size probably should have three keyboards to accommodate all the sounds that are necessary for choir accompaniment, uh, prelude, postlude, and the various things that I do. Some of the maintenance issues that we need to fix on this organ involve tuning. We have some very out of tune notes that I do hide from the congregation. In addition to tuning, we also have some notes that simply don't sound on the organ. There's one missing. The principal pedal is the foundation of the entire organ. And on our organ, the foundation bottom has no sound. Music is a great uh, part of every sermon and every service that we have. When I get home and all through the week, I'll be singing the hymns that we sang. We get a, a nice kick out of this church, and, and uh, they, they make us behave. So that's... <laughs> Dr. Parr's talent is uh, incredible, and it's a joy just to listen to him play to sort of use a East Texas colloquialism uh, when he really lays into it and blows the soot out of it. And the walls shake and you are reminded of the power and majesty of God. We saw all the things from the 60s that are no longer around. This organ is still here and just has a few problems. And we're looking back at the past 50 years. We need to look ahead at the next 50 years. What will this organ need to do for this church? The organ has served us very well and, and I hope that we can upgraded and, and keep it maintained. The organ is capable of evoking any emotion that we as human beings are capable of feeling. Whether that be the most somber music at a funeral or the most reverent music during a communion service or the most heroic and majestic music at the opening hymn of a Christmas Eve service. We all want the greatest possible worship experience, and to that end, want the organ to be all that it's capable of being. So for these reasons, I believe that it's time to bring the organ into the 21st century.